What's up again, YouTube? This is Ryan Reacts, and I'm here with another one. I started to notice a lot of people in the metal community react to this band called Cybercore. Now, the thing about Cybercore is people don't seem to know that they have stuff from like over a decade ago, but people only react to the new stuff. And I'm not saying the new stuff isn't good, but let's go back to the original, let's go back to the roots. So this song right here is called The Balance, and The Balance is a song that actually got me into the band. And there's probably stuff even before The Balance. Well, from this album, Take the Consequence. Um, but when I heard it for the first time, it spoke to me. Normally, if there's a song on this channel, I'll say in the front, before everything, that I've never heard it. And yes, obviously I've heard this song. So with that in mind, let's get right into it. Can't wait to hear it again. It's been a while. Um, I used to listen to this song all the time when I was running, and you'll probably hear me say that often. So yeah, The Balance by Sipecore. And now you see why I instantly got hooked into it. That intro is sick. Anyway. And again, the transition. And those drums right before that even clicked over. Every human being. Completely free. That's all I ever wanted was to be completely free, 100% free, to where I can just not have any. Because that's the number one stressor. It's when you're not feeling free of something, whether it's a significant other, a child, a job, a friend, an enemy, just everything. You just feel so trapped and stuck, and that feeling can stem on to anything. It's like. I have a rotary cuff issue, so just having this little rotary cuff issue here that I've been having for like four years. And it's funny, the balance, like, see, I, you see, now I get it. So like doing push-ups, just that little spot, even though this side doesn't hurt, it affects this side. Like, I taught myself something, but not really, it's like I know it, but piecing it together for it to make sense for the context. Right, let's get, I'm just gonna shut up now, that's crazy. And that's the thing, like if I never would've got this rotary cuff issue, who knows where my life would be now. I would've probably done more push-ups, I'd've probably lifted heavier, and I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Maybe something, who knows, maybe I'd be dead. For getting this injury saved my life without me knowing it. Or maybe me having this injury prevented me from getting rich. Like, <laughs> you don't know, I mean, it's a balance in life. Every human being needs a tragedy. That's true. I mean, you know, there's a lot of sayings I've heard over my life, but one of them sticks to me. It's like, you got to go through hell to get to heaven. So it's like, it means two things at the same time, maybe if not more. So you don't know the appreciation of something until it's taken from you, until you obtain it yourself until you've been through the struggle that led to that solution and sometimes you go through something to help yourself not knowing 
the benefit that you reaped from doing it because you may have had one intention which you may have actually obtained but it also led to more knowledge and wisdom based on those struggles so you got to fall to rise Never fails. Anything about drumming? Yeah, a little bit of industrial going on. No, we're not going to react to Cybreed. There's only certain types of, like, cybernetic, uh, industrial, just space, space metal, if you want to call it that, that I, you know, can like. Well, not can like, that I do like. Um, where's I going with that? Yeah, actually, let me just do that. There we go. <laughs> I mean, there you have it, guys. It's Cybercore. Hopefully you enjoyed that song. I know I have, and I always do. And, you know, sure, the newer stuff has better production. Uh, their walk of life has changed, so it's probably different musicians, too. I mean, the vocalist is still there, but even his voice, he's older now, obviously. But it's just not one of those songs that... I'm not saying that song helped me get through a lot of stuff, but it was such a cool song to listen to during my dark times. I mean, because everything, like, it's a very, I don't want to call it a basic song because there's a lot of cool structure to it, but they didn't milk that chorus too many times. But, I mean, it's catchy, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But just as far as lyrics go, it's not anything that I don't know and didn't even know then. But it's just cool to not only be reminded, but know that I'm not alone, that other people feel that way. So it's, it's just pretty cool. It's a good song, good band. And with that... May Jesus Christ bless you as always. Stay safe. I know it always sounds generic, but it's the truth. So that's why I don't really change my, whatever you want to call it, 
my, my lingo, my my slogan, my my catchphrase, whatever. It's not really a catchphrase. It's just quarantine sucks. We're going through it. It might be in yellow, but it's still here, and it's probably going to come back. And it's probably going to be worse than before. And we're going to be in constant state of fear, and we're going to be locked in. And I still haven't worn a mask once, but I don't leave the house. Just I don't know. I leave, but not not much. But yeah, peace.